Shankar Carruthers, and welcome to part three in a five-part series on the new iPhone 3GS. Today we're going to talk about the camera built into this. Now, it looks very similar from the outside to the camera on the old version of the iPhone 3G, but this one is actually 3.2 megapixels, and it actually has some other functions built in that are a little bit more impressive than just straight up higher resolution. I'm going to press the, uh, the camera icon here, and we'll get started taking a look at this. Now, again, the interface looks fairly similar. You'll notice one tweak down here, which we'll get to in a second. But the fun starts when you start moving this. Now, we actually have an autofocus camera built into this now. So we've got uh, the ability to change your focus point, and not just change your focus point by, by moving the camera, like you have before us. So we've got a couple of things here. It actually identifies various things. Now, we've got two of my uh, favorite Homestar uh, Runner characters here. And if we want to focus on this and take a picture, we can just trust it to do what, uh, what it does best. Um, or if we actually want to select something, so we can actually press on the thing that we want. So right now it's selected the cheat up front. You can press on that and it'll focus on that. Or we can actually choose to focus on Homestar and it'll refocus on that. And then we can take the picture and Homestar will be in focus as opposed to the cheat up front. And again, you can focus on anything that's on here, and it will focus on that point. So it can focus midway in between if we choose to. Now, we'll notice uh, that it also has at the bottom uh, a, a switch here that goes between camera and video. So we can switch this like so. And now instead of taking a photograph, we're in video mode. So I'm going to flip it into this right here. And we are now shooting a video of our friend the cheat walking around. Da 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 da. Anyone that's seen it knows he doesn't sound like that, but I'm not going to try to uh, attempt his voice there. So now we've finished recording that, and we'll notice we'll have uh, the camera roll placed in the same place over here. And oops, actually, oh, flip it back into that. So we have this roll here, so we can actually watch the video we did. Shameful though it may be. And you know, so at the beginning we were setting up and I got my finger in front of the lens, which is not so good. So we want to get rid of that potentially. So what you can do is you can load this up onto your uh, computer and get rid of it that way. But you can also go to this timeline up here where you can see what's going on. And, uh, and instead of uh, doing this over on the computer, you can actually just do a bit of trimming here. So we'll get past the point where my fingers got in the way at the beginning and at the end. you notice it zooms in a little bit if we press and hold. So, so now we've got something that's more like the video we actually want to see. We'll press trim. It'll trim it right here on the, on the phone itself. And now when we play it, it's uh, just the cheat walking around with my hand helping him, as opposed to all of the setup as well. There you go. And that is the camera on the new iPhone 3GS.